this is Jesse Langston with Sarah Bay Marina, Sarasota, Florida. Today we're going to take a look at the exciting new WorldCat 400 DCX, brand new boat. It's our first in stock. Just an incredible, incredible boat from WorldCat. We're going to give you a quick walkthrough today. Can't show you everything, just the video will be way too long, but let's hit some of the highlights. We're going to come on the boat here right through the, uh, the side dive door on the port side. And the first thing we're going to take a look is the uh, the back platform, which is unique because we got the Yamaha 425 engines, fantastic engine, very torquey, perfect engines to push this big boat. But you'll notice there's no uh, splash wells. These engines can trim right up onto the flat surface, so your whole swim platform is uh, nice and flat. And of course, you got the big WorldCat ladder, which is fantastic, best way to get on and off a boat. You'll see uh, ladders like that on all the WorldCat lineup. So. Uh, just a, a beautiful swim platform here on the back. Let's walk into the boat a little, take a look at some of these options. Um, one of the unique things about this boat is it has modular transom uh, boxes. You can customize your boat, order your boat, and you can change out these uh, transoms to do many different things. You can see we've got a, uh, a little summer kitchen right here that opens up. And uh, we'll take a look here, beautiful Corian countertops. And, Nice sink. We've got an electric grill hiding underneath here. And uh, you got some storage. You got some uh, paper towel holder. A lot of cool things. This is uh, also got a little refrigerator and storage down below. Take a look over on this side, and we have a, uh, a nice insulated fish box. And we've also got a live bay well over on this side. Now, some of the other transom boxes you can get you can get dive tank storage, you can get a, a, another seating. Uh, component back here so you can have a little more seating although this boat's already got got tons of seating so um, just a really cool creative way to uh, set up the transom and allow people to customize their boats let's take a look at the starboard side over here if you're if you're getting on the boat from the from this side of the boat there's no dive door but they have a nice little uh, little step down that pops out you just push it in it pops right out so you can uh, step on the boat easily and uh, we have another refrigerator here, nice little countertop here as well. You can uh, have to make some food, put out some food, a lot of different options here. You got some storage uh, storage area over here as well with some drawers and a little cabinet. Um, some nice seating right there as well. A little bit of storage underneath that seating as well. Now those switches that you see right there are for the, uh, the sure shade, which comes right out of the back of the hard top on this boat. Um, it's only extended a little in this video. It goes all the way out over the transom, so it's, it covers a lot. It gives you a lot of extra shade when you roll that out. But we take a look at the uh, the middle of the boat, the U-shaped seating here. Um, obviously, you got tons of room here, six, seven, maybe eight people. Um, beautiful teak table right in the middle. Uh, and, and this is pretty flexible right here. You can uh, actually hit this little switch and move the, uh, the backrest so you can... Um, you know, sit facing backwards. Got a little bit of little bit of storage under there as well. A couple of drawers that come out. Walk forward a little. Take a look down here. Um, this backrest right here also does the same thing. It's got the uh, got the ability to uh, slide, so you can have your uh, your passengers sitting forward instead of the U-shaped position. So, a lot of cool uh, flexibility. Um, one another unique thing is you can see that uh, we've got some really cool. You know, upholstery here, we have the diamond stitch, we've got the blue trim. That's all customizable within WorldCat's custom program. So you can uh, pick out whatever colors you want for your vinyl and really customize it, tailor it to what you want. Um, helm seat's double wide, you've got plenty of room there, folding, folding armrest and the whole seat slides, you know, up and forward and back. So plenty of room very comfortable place to uh to drive the boat from you can either lean back against it with the bolsters flipped up or you can uh you know flip the bolsters down jump up on top and have a seat you know so very flexible now the uh the helm area has got a ton to talk about we'll just you know take a look at a few things right now you get all your your physical switches up top but this boat does have the c-zone system where all your switching goes through that garment you see on the left there and you can even turn on your generator and just uh, all kinds of different things through the switches on the Garmin itself. You got a sonar, chart plotter, all the usual things in the 8616 Garmin's. And uh, we've also got radar on this boat and autopilot. JL audio system is, is upgraded on this boat. You got fantastic M-series speakers and uh, amplifiers. And uh, you can also see on the, uh, 
the helm area, the the teak area, which is a, a finished teak. There's some different options on uh, what you can get right there on the helm as well. well. Let's walk forward and take a look at the front of the boat. We'll come back to the cabin and, and head on a little bit later. But you have a, just a massive amount of room up here. Whirl cats are fantastic for, uh, you know, they have such a wide bow because the, the beam of the Whirl Cats goes all the way forward. So you don't, you, you get so much more space than a, a boat with a pointy nose. So um, you can actually seat eight adults up here for dinner. You have the, uh, the fantastic tables that go up and down. They're on electric lifts. I'll show you right here where this would take this one down a little bit. You can also uh, buy a filler, filler package optionally that goes right on top of that table so when you bring the table about halfway down you can fill in there and just have a big lounge to lay out on and again you can get a good view of the uh the cushion package we picked out with the diamond stitch and the uh blue trim take a look backwards here we can see uh got a nice uh, some nice docking lights up top there a little little light bar and we got our garmin um radar as well so we're gonna walk back to the middle of the boat. Now, let's take a look at the windshield real quick. This is a unique windshield. Instead of uh, lifting up and kind of flopping over like the old style, this one windshield slides open, which is, is really great. And it's got a latch to hold it open as well. And then you have the wind door here, so you can uh, close that and uh, close the windshield and have uh, all that protection from the front of the boat if you're running into the rain or some cold weather or something. So we're gonna take a look at the head now. And you can see the door stays open nicely on a magnetic, magnetic system. But um, this is an air conditioned area. You know, you can air condition under the hard top, but you can also air, con you know, air condition these uh, the compartments down here as well. Um, steps down into the head. We've got a real electric head. It's hooked to the freshwater system on the boat. And you can see there's just, just tons of stuff in here. We got mirrors everywhere. So we got, you know, room for a little towel, with the freshwater sink. Um, all our cabinets are done in gray. That's that's something you can pick out again with Royal Cat's custom program. Get those exactly the color that you want. You can even change the sink and do a different sink if you want to. Um, another interesting thing on the left there, you can see the shower is separated off. Now let's jump down into the uh, to the berth, which is on the uh, uh, port side of the boat, and we've still got our Coast Guard equipment in the box in here, and we've got a filler cushion for out in that U-shaped area. But you can see the berth goes down in deep there, where you can. You can go in here and take a nap. Now the front part of that berth, you can see it's sectioned off. You can lift that out of the way so you have more room to stand down there and change clothes. Uh, you know, you've got nice cabinets in here, storage drawers. You got the uh, the faux teak down on the on the deck makes it very comfortable as well. Thanks again for hanging out with me today and taking a look at the WorldCat 400 DCX. Again, this is Jesse with Sarah Bay Marina in Sarasota. Feel free to call us, contact us, come by and take a look at this great boat.